God told Moses and Aaron to go see Pharaoh. God says, let his people go, Moses told the Pharaoh, but he was stubborn. Then the Israelites were treated worse than before. They were Pharaoh's slaves. Moses and Aaron went to Pharaoh and told him what God had said, but once again he said, no, I will not let the people go. Then all the water turned into blood. This was the first plague God sent. There was no clean water anywhere. So Moses went back again to warn the Pharaoh what God had said. Let his people go. But Pharaoh said, no, I will not let the people go. He was a stubborn man. So God sent a plague of frogs. The frogs were everywhere, in the beds, in the streets. That was the second plague. Get rid of the frogs, shouted Pharaoh. So Moses prayed to God and the frogs went. But still Pharaoh would not listen. I will not let the people go, he said. He was stubborn. So Moses and Aaron went back to Pharaoh and told him again, let God's people go. No, said Pharaoh, I will not let the people go. God will send more plagues, said Moses. And that's just what God did. He sent a plague of lice and everyone in Egypt was itching and scratching, just like God said. That was the third plague. So Moses and Aaron went back to Pharaoh. Let God people go, they said. No, said Pharaoh. I will not let the people go. So God sent more plagues. Flies, hail, sickness, boils, locusts and darkness for three days. Right, that's it, said Pharaoh. I will let God's people go to worship. Leave. So God's people collected all their possessions. They would leave Egypt and go on a journey to the promised land. They were free at last. Moses led them to a new land.